In this video, we are going to talk about the flex box. And before we are going to talk about the flex box, we are talking about the components that we already created. And for the flex one component, now we can see it just has a wheel and also two text component. That is something and something too. And later we will uncomment this and these just are the five boxes and we have the some style so they already have some different colors so we can take a look if we uncomment this and you can see there are different colors and we change all these to 10 first so if you look at again you can see there are evenly spaces so first we are going to command this and now we are going to see the flex one we already import inside the app.js and later we will use the flex to to talk about the list because sometimes you can see the list at the bottom cannot be wielded so first back to the flex one and as you can see when we just have the background color pink and you can see the two text components are displayed here and we can also align the items at the center so when you align the items at the center the two text components are covered by this black area so what is the difference between the justify content and also the aligned item first we are going to use the flex one if we uncomment the flex one we can see the whole area will become pink because it will fill up all the screen if flex is one and because it just has the one component here so it will fill up all the spaces so you can see aligned items at center you can see the word still at center word horizontally so if we save again and uncomment this you can see the text appeared at the corner so if we justify the content at the center it will align this at the center of the screen so it already vertically at the center because by default the flex direction is columns so it will go down and the center will mean for this path it is the center of this path and if we align the items it will become horizontally at centered so by default you can see it will stack on each other the two test components are stacking on each other because for the first direction the default value is columns and if we uncomment this as row it will become next to each other horizontally this is because the flex direction become row so first we back to the column direction first now we are going to comment these two text components and at the same time we uncomment these five boxes and this is because we already add the padding of 10 and we can also command the aligned item and also justify content because we are going to focus on the justify content as you can see when we are going to justify the content at the center all the rows will tied up at the center and if we change this to flex start all will pull up at the top because in the directions of columns it will start from the top to the bottom so the start is at the top so as you can imagine if we change this to end it will go down to the bottom so now there are some thing new about space between if we are using space between this space this distance is equal to each others and this is space between but there is no space between the edges of this web bar and also the phone edges so if we change this to space around which means they have the equal space of row for example at here you can see it had about 1 cm at the top and 1 cm at the bottom so they all has the same space around the top and the bottom so even the red row it has the space between the edges and the red areas 
So I hope you can imagine this distance is equal to this distance. Next, we are going to talk about the allied items. To demonstrate the allied items, we should make this has different size of paddings. For example, this should be 20, and then we change this to 30, and then we change this to 40 and 50. Now you can see they have different size. So if we align the item at the center, you can see there is a light at the center. So they align at the center. And if we change this to flat stop, it will align at this stop point because we look at the things at the horizontal way. So if this is end, it will turn to the right side and align at this line. And by default, the aligned items is straight. So you can see if you stretch, it will stretch through all the ways here. So we can actually comment this if we just want to use the stretch. So we can talk about the first direction. Actually, we already talked about this. And you can see from the top to the bottom, this is columns directions. So if this is row direction, it will change to from start from left to right. So we can change this and you can see this will become start from left to right. So we can comment this and talk about the frag. So if we comment all the paddings and then they will not fill up all the spaces. But if we change this to frag one to all the content, you can see if it already changed to frag one, content one and content two will fill up all the spaces if there is some spaces left. So if we all contain frag one, they will have the same size. You can see now they have the same size. If the first is changed to two in content one. You can see it has the double size of the others area. And you can imagine if three, they will have three times larger than the others. So this is how the frags work. Now we back to the app.js and then we command the frags one and we uncommand the frags two. So what happened is in the frags two component is we demonstrate that there's a common layout or a very simple layout that you usually see is there's a header on the top and then there's a content and inside the content we may have a heading of content one and then we have a list field we can show different items but you can see the last item in our project should be the orange but when we scroll to the bottom we cannot see the orange and this is because the headers already push the red area beyond the screen. So how can we do that or to fix this problem? And if you remember when you are dealing with the previous problem, by using the first one, it will fill up all the screen if there's some spaces left. In order to avoid this red area, you can see actually inside the content style, because it already linked to the content one style, it should have a padding of 20. And so you should see the red area at the bottom. But since this area already pushed by the blue area, so it was already beyond the screen. So in order to let the red area must be inside the screen, we have to add the first equal to one. So now if you look at the screen, you can see the paddings appear here again. So when you scroll down, you can see the orange up here here. So this is how to fix the list wheel by the flex box.